Hey friends, Dr. Keenan here. I was just on the live a few minutes ago and I, I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned and I have some questions and I hope you can help me answer these questions because I'm, I'm at this point, I'm not really understanding what's going on and I need some help. And this is not a gimmick. This is not a uh, clickbait. This is a real situation. This is real. This is real. Cause I'm not, I'm not understanding what's happening. Now, the reason why I want to ask you this question that I'm about to ask you is not just for me, but it's for all social media influencers. Anybody that's on Facebook, anybody that's on social media, anybody that's on um, any of the respective platforms. And this is, this is my earnest question and my earnest cry for help. And here it is. I have over a million followers on Facebook, well over a million followers. And yet I'm noticing that there are people who will write to me and tell me, I didn't even know you were online. I'm not getting your notifications anymore. I am subscribed to your page. I like, I follow you. I look forward to watching you. And yet I'm not seeing your notifications. Lately, I've noticed a uh, decline in the reach of my videos. For example, there are times where I will see, you know, 2,000 people on a live video, you know, 3,000 people on a live video. And yet lately I've seen a significant decrease. Now I have done some videos like, you know, I've done some videos about the pandemic and I've done some videos about things like that. But what is going on? I need to know. I need to know if people are seeing my post I need to know if you have liked and subscribed to the post and if you're getting notifications when I go live. I need some help with this. I think that I, I and I, I'm not fussing. I'm not fussing. I'm not trying to be... Um, petty or entitled in any way. I think if you have millions of people who subscribe to your page, you should be notified. They should be, they should be notified when I come on. So Bright Taylor, whatever your name is, I don't even know who you are. I don't even know if you're a real person. You you could be a goat for all I know. I don't even know who you are. <clears throat> and it's probably not even worth acknowledging your presence on my feed, but go away in Jesus' name. Okay, so I just dealt with that troll. Um, But I really want to understand. For example, I just um, did two videos a couple of weeks ago, and they both went to over, well over a million views, both of them. And I'm trying to figure out what's happening, and I really want your feedback, and I really want you to share this. Um, um, I really want you to share this with your friends. You know, if you have other pastors and leaders that you follow, I want to know what they're going through. I want to know what they're going through. So if you haven't liked and subscribed, you need to, because if you if you don't do that, you're definitely not going to see um, notifications. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe and then share the videos because if you don't share them, then uh, your friends may not see the video.
okay? Um, because I think, I just think that if you have a following that you have amassed over a long period of time, I think that you should be able to see the videos of those to whom you subscribe. I believe that's right. I believe that's fair. I, believe, I don't think it makes any sense that there's people who follow you, who, who subscribe to your page, and they don't see your content. You know, so do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed, I need you to do that right now. So somebody said I should use a text. Would you guys like if I had a text messaging system that would message people when I went live? Thank you, Sister Stephanie. Thank you, Sister Angela. And that's another thing. All right, let me show you another thing. So another issue is that I have been seeing a lot of throttling in my videos. For example, I could be in a place like I am now with a full Wi-Fi signal and my video will just keep cutting in and out and I end up having to delete the video. So once people have shared it and I've deleted it, they don't want to, they don't want to share it again because they don't know if it's going to be there anymore. Um, the other thing is that um, uh, uh, there have been trolls on my page who are trying to defraud people. So they say, oh, we have a WhatsApp group with Dr. Keenan, and if you want special prayer, here's the number. And the person gives some bogus name, and people people write me and say, well, well, well I just gave this because somebody said they would send me $9,000. First of all, if I was going to send you $9,000, why would I need $100 from you to send you $9,000? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay? Secondly, I have asked Facebook on a number of occasions to remove fake pages. People who, have, who even use my name in the title of their page. And they have my picture and my likeness and my family pictures and pictures of my children. And I have reported these pages to Facebook and Facebook will not remove these pages. They've told me on several occasions, this does not go against our terms of use. This doesn't violate our terms of service. And I'm thinking impersonating another influencer's page and using their name and likeness to connect money fraudulently clearly goes against your terms of use. So why then are not these pages removed? Why aren't these pages removed if they clearly go against your terms of use? I was flagged for calling somebody to, to somebody that was using profanity in, in one of my uh, 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 feeds. You know, I posted something and they were using profanity. They were using um, epitaphs. They were, they were using threatening language, which is called verbal assault. It's a misdemeanor at best. It's a crime. And all I did was say that this person was behaving ugly inside and out. Facebook said, if you do that again, we will remove your page. And yet people who are collecting money in my name, who are using my likeness, using pictures of my family and my children, are not being removed. What is going on? So I, I need you all to make some noise. I need you guys to make some noise. I need you to, first of all, make sure that you are commenting, that you are responding, that you are liking and sharing the videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my page, not only do you should you like and follow, but make sure that you also subscribe. Make sure that you receive notifications when I go live, okay? And then I need you to share this with your friends. Share this with everybody that you know. You know, share it on your page, share it in the group chats, share it on, on WhatsApp. Just copy the link and share it on WhatsApp. And then the second thing I need, or the third thing at this point I need you to do is pray for me. Pray for us. If you follow somebody, 
if you follow somebody and this person is being a blessing to you and, and their ministry is impacting you in a positive way, pray for them. Pray for the person. Pray against spiritual attacks. Pray against hindrances that will try to stop the message from going forward. And yes, I know everybody's saying, get off of this platform and stop another one. But we have to take a stand. We have to hold folks accountable. Because if there is unjust and unfair treatment going on, then we need to say something about it. Don't just say, well, I'm going to leave Facebook or I'm going to go to another platform. We need to hold folks accountable for their actions, for the things that they are doing. So please, like and share, comment, tag people, and then also make sure that you subscribe to the page so that you are being notified and that you are getting all the notifications that should come to you in Jesus' name. So Regis, touch and agree. Can you touch and agree with me right now that every demonic hindrance that has tried to stop the flow of this message Every demonic force that has tried to hinder this voice and other voices from going forward, that it would be destroyed in Jesus' name. And that that voice, that hindrance, that blockage that is keeping people from receiving what God has to say will be totally removed in the name of Jesus from this day forward. God bless you.